Hey everyone, thanks for checking this out. Um, so this not only is going to be a message for all the earth angels out there, but it's going to be really for anyone who stumbles across it. I had a really strong message from Divine and I was like, is it have to be like spoken or can it be word? And they wanted it spoken. So here I am to deliver this message to you and just want to say thanks for tuning in. So let me hop into it. This message is going to be a little bit intense, um, but it's going to be very specific for a group. So for some of you, what I'm hearing is growing up or in your early 20s, say from like 18 to 25, you could have been dealt like a rough set of cards. You could have went through some things. What I'm hearing from spirit is even like car accidents or um, sickness, like just really awful things that left you close to almost passing. You could have even been in an abusive relationship or some sort of just like accidents like that happened, but for whatever reason you didn't, and this is gonna get really specific, but for some of you out there, you may have been even told at the time right after this all happened that you had guardian angels looking out for you. Um, people around you could have said this or something like this, um, similar to that. For whatever this is resonating for, it just could have been a situation where you could have really just like, you know, a freak accident or something. Or like, like I said, you got sick and were in the hospital and just out of nowhere and just everything turned around and you were okay. And it was almost like a miracle that you were still alive. So the point that I'm getting to, whatever your story was, if you went through a situation that it was like miraculous, that you were still here, you were alive after everything you went through or this specific situation. And sometimes you've even thought to yourself, okay, like why? Like that's crazy, like I'm still here. But God wants you to know that you are here for a reason. Whoever I'm speaking to, I mean everyone in the world, I want you to all know that everyone is here for a reason. But specifically those that endured something like that, that really got almost like a second chance. Angels and like God honestly just want you to know that like, wow, I just had 222 two, two on the clock. You are here for like a holier purpose. like. You are here as a light worker, as a teacher, as a healer, some sort of person that's going to impact not only your life, but the lives of so many around you in whatever it is that you're doing. Um, only you know the kind of spiritual connection you have with God and what your mission is. And if you don't, like you will be enlightened soon. That's a huge message to you. You will definitely be enlightened soon as to what it is that you're supposed to do to essentially give back your light in this world. But all I'm getting for this message is whatever it was that you went through and you know, you just felt like, wow, I can't even believe this. Um, and you're still here and you're good and you're just going with life and you know you have a greater mission. You might not know what it is yet, but you just know that you're here for something big. And you know, for a lot of you, it could be part of spiritual awakening consciousness. Some of you could be meant to be known in the public. Some of you could honestly be like I said, healers or Reiki healers, or you could even be mediums. You could even be chosen prophets. Whichever is your story, you are an amazing person and you were given that other chance because whatever it was that happened to you wasn't supposed to go down like that. It was supposed to be that you were living fully then and fully now. And for a lot of you, you just started fully waking up and living life or starting to really try and like grab a hold of your life and manifest your life into the life you prefer and want for yourself. And Spirit's giving you that gift and that ability right now to persevere and go through it. But for a group of you, Spirit really wants you to think hard and connect with your angels and figure out the signs and what it is your purpose that you're here for. Some of you could just be struggling with it right now. Maybe you're stuck on two paths. You have two different um, potential roads or opportunities or things that you're invested into or make you happy. There's nothing wrong with having a couple things. It's always like it's better to have more options than one, except for when it comes to relationships. <laughs> but for anything else, it's better to have more options than one, I mean, in case something happened. But what Spirit's saying is, don't limit yourself to just one thing and don't drain yourself trying to do too many things. Definitely put the focus on what they're giving you the signs about and what you truly think in your intuition is your life path. Because if you've ever not followed your intuition and then sometimes you realize you should have followed your intuition, that is your intuition, right? It always 
is that inner voice in your head and essentially that inner voice is spirit speaking directly to you even if it just sounds like another voice in your head that's where did it come from essentially that came from divine and your spirit team and your angels for some of you you might actually even be increasing your gifts and an ability to be able to really see people for who they are you could even actually see apparitions you could constantly be seeing things out of the corner of your eye knowing you like saw like a spirit or something was there a lot of the times these are your spirit guides just letting you know they're around you could also be passed on loved ones for some of you you do have a spirit in your house um, what I'm hearing is this spirit has been around the house longer than you have and essentially it just gets bored and likes to mess around and maybe it frightens you sometimes but what I'm hearing is the spirit is harmless and if you ever feel threatened by like a spirit or a ghost in your house just send it to the light definitely was just directed to tell someone that just say I send you light and blessings it's time for you to cross over to the light and after so many times of saying that for the most part a spirit will leave and you'll feel a lighter energy if you're finding that's not happening another thing you can do is burning sage um, regularly in the house palo santo that'll help clear the negative energy and get rid of any lingering spirits or energies so yeah that was the message i got spirit just really wants you to know the purpose that you're here for is so much greater than what you realize and they just want you to keep going from where you're at right now what i'm hearing is it's just baby steps building up to the big path that you're about to take some of you have manifested this like change in dream life and whether you're even aware of it or not it's all starting to come in for some of you it's come in slowly so you've been able to adapt to the changes but for some of you that have felt like nothing has happened for a long time it's because it's all about to happen at once, a huge shift. Whether that's you moving, moving countries, just moving cities or, or states or province or wherever you are. Um, so yeah, something like that. But yeah, other than that, what I'm hearing is just big changes. And of course, there's been so much about career changes. Spirit just really wants you to tap in and just know um, what I'm hearing is some of you could be public speakers, some of you could be artists, some of you could be writers. Whatever you're meant to do, you have a huge mission on this earth, essentially, for divine and for all of humankind. So this is why you're still here and this is why you got to keep going and even on the days that it seems really hard and you feel alone or you're down, just know that you always have spirit to reach out to, you always have God and you always have people around you that love you even if it feels like you don't. So I just really hope that message resonated for someone out there and sending you all light and blessings and have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Earth Angel 111 signing out.